What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another video for you guys and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to implement custom content uh, into the Sims 4 create a sim demo. Um, this process is actually incredibly simple. Um, it Pretty much anyone can do it. Um, so but yeah, EA has pretty much opened up the game to modding. They are pretty much welcoming custom content now, which is nice. Um, so yeah, it's incredibly simple. Um, what I'm going to be showing though is I'm not going to be explaining or showing how to actually create uh, the custom content. Uh, but rather, I'm going to just be showing how to actually implement the mods or custom content into the game. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have these three uh, mod files here. Uh, all three are different backgrounds for the Create a Sim. Um, the one that I'm going to be using for this particular video, however, is this one called Styled Ocean. Um, so... I'm going to jump into the game briefly uh, and show you guys what the background looks like before I add the mod into the game. So let's go ahead and do that now. <clears throat> and since I am recording um, directly from this laptop or from this computer, uh, you are going to notice some lag uh, with the game. Uh, it's not normally like that. Uh, but if you do see some lag within the game in this video, uh, that is the reason. Okay, so let's go ahead and let it load up here. <clears throat> and as you can see, yeah, we're already experiencing a, a bit of lag. But it's not too big of an issue right now. Just let it load up and get through that. <clears throat> Alright. Skip past that. Hit start. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is the default background uh, behind your sim in the base game uh, before you implement any mods. It's kind of like a bluish white gradient color, kind of green on this side. Um, but that's what that looks like. So now let's go ahead and quit the game and implement the mod itself. Okay, let's let that close, and close that. Okay, so now to actually implement the mod file, you're going to want to go over to your uh, documents folder under your PC. Uh, set, or, yeah, under the PC right here. Uh, and then go under the folder named Electronic Arts. Uh, and then go to the Sims 4 Create a Sim Demo. And then as you can see, there is a dedicated mods folder. This is where I'm talking about it being incredibly simple. Because all you have to do is drag and drop this custom content mod file into this mods folder. And that's all you have to do. So, all we have to do, um, let's go, in, go into the folder, drag and drop this mod file into the folder. And that's all you have to do. From there, you want to close this um, window out, reopen The Sims 4, uh, create a sim. And the mod or custom content should uh, take effect. So we will find out in just a few moments once the game loads up again. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and let this load up again. Okay. There's the lag again, but like I said, it doesn't always do this. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and hit start, and the changes should have taken effect. And let's see, there you go. So as you can see, the background has been changed to this kind of blue color. Uh, with some interesting different patterns on it, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's cool to know that you can change these types of uh, effects in the game. Another thing, however, is there are custom content for shirts. 
Um, so if I go and click on this guy's uh, shirt and go over into the shirts here, um, I've already pre-installed a shirt with a custom content on it. Uh, it would be this one. And if you guys are familiar with the YouTuber called LGR, uh, this is one of his custom content uh, t-shirts that he made. Um, but yeah, you can uh, put custom content shirts right into the game the same way as I did with this background. Uh, just drag and drop, start up the game, and you are good to go. Which is really, really cool. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it on how to... I'm going to go ahead and quit the game now. But on how to implement <coughs> implement uh, custom content into The Sims 4. Uh, the process should hopefully be the same uh, for when the actual game itself comes out uh, this September or next month, I think. Um, you should just be able to... Do what um, I did in this video, drag and drop the mod file into the mods folder, launch the game, and the uh, changes should take effect immediately. So, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, I will make sure to um, um, let you guys know of more Sims 4 custom content updates. Uh, but anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this video, leave a subscription below. Uh, also, thumbs up the video. Always appreciate that. Uh, also, if you guys have any questions or need help with this at all, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, video here, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.